from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. No, we're not at Tommy Max up at the bar, but we're down on the couch, and I'm here with my good friend Steve Dean from Attic Sports Room. Steve, how are you, brother? I'm doing good, sir. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you, and it's good to be here. It's good to be back. No doubt. We're going to talk sports. We're going to talk apparel. You you guys at Attics, man, you guys are you're outfitting sports programs all over the country, whether it's wrestling, football, soccer, baseball, you name it. You guys are doing it. Yeah, right now we're in the middle of, of football and football cause games and volleyball and cross country, but we're about to move into basketball and wrestling and, yeah. and other sports. But and yeah, wrestling's going, your forte, huh? Yeah, I've got a special love for wrestling. I yeah. It was survival in my household with five boys. It's part oh, of how you survive. You didn't say that. Yeah, yeah that it, would be interesting. It, it's how you got the second dessert or the biggest part chop you know off the top rope yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you go exactly absolutely all right let's welcome in our guest nick o'brien is here from unf our co-host hey nick how are you bro i'm doing great how are you guys doing good man you're in the thick of it at unf what's the latest man the athletes are in they've reported they're working out you're uh staying on top of the task oh yeah we're going into week three for the fall um Got lots of teams already playing. Uh, women's soccer's got a huge game tonight. They're hosting number one, um, Florida State at home. So uh, the campus is buzzing and everybody's kind of excited about everybody starting to get the fall sports underway. Uh, Thirsty Thursdays at UNF. I like it. Should be a good night out there. I'm busy, so I can't make it. But <laughs> nonetheless, that'll be great. All right, so welcome in Matt Lawrence from Dwight Morrow Raiders up in Englewood, New Jersey. Matt, Steve Dean, Attic Sportswear. Thanks for being on the uh, the show today. Uh, just a question for you is, what do you find the biggest challenge for your position as athletic director, assistant principal going into this uh, the school year and sports season? So I, I began this journey as an athletic director just in June. Um, and, and coming in here, I could say the easy things like paperwork and, and preparation and organization. But really what it comes down to are our athletes' uh, well-being and uh, the mental health. Uh, I would also say that our coaches uh, get burned out quickly as well. And, you know, we really need to focus on getting everybody prepared mentally as we begin our seasons, uh, but also as we begin the school year. Um, you know, we have coaches who are teachers, so they have uh, a full load to begin with. And then we have um, people from the outside who have their own jobs, businesses that come in and coach our kids and, and, and are a part of our program. So, you know, getting everybody on the same page and, and mentally prepared, I'd say, is a big challenge for us. You know, today's day and age, Matt, that mental health is is interesting, right? We grew up in an era, I know I did, it was all about mental toughness and grit and perseverance, and there's still that today, but we're also got to be very cognizant of those that don't have that and make sure they don't feel like they're not included. Is that getting at it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you could talk about how it's like tough it out, you know, be a man, all those things we heard as kids growing up in, in our sports programs and, and suck it up. And, and one of the things we always understood was our coaches still cared about us. You know, they, they, they still gave us the time of day. They looked out for us. They asked how the families were. And that's what we expect from our coaches here as well, is that they, they check in and that they, they let the kids know that I'm going to be hard on you. I'm going to push you. I'm going to have high expect expectations for you. But you need to have your own high expectations and, and goals that you want to achieve uh, through this program. And I'm going to help you do that. So, you know, getting the coaches to recognize their approach is really important. Communication on the front end is huge, whether we're talking your business, talking, you know, what, what, what Matt's doing up in Englewood, you know, whatever the case may be, right? You've got to yeah. communicate in yeah. that beginning stage so everybody knows what's expected and what's to come. I think that's really important. Well, and I think in today's day and age, and Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, but the parents seem to be a lot more involved Right, with coaches <laughs> and the school system yeah. uh, through social media directly, school board meetings, what that may be. And so there's a lot to consider here when you're, when you're working with student athletes and, and how we get them prepared and the mental aspects of it. You know, you bring a great point. It leads into a point that I, I'm, I'm really glad I'm able to point out is, you know, parents want to be involved, but they don't know how to get involved sometimes. And then they get too overly involved and they create havoc. 
Um, they don't know what's right. They don't know what's wrong. And then we lead it to the sportsmanship issue that is a huge push in New Jersey right now with our NJSIAA. And, um, you know, having these talks with our players, having talks with the parents, uh, having talks with the community, just to yep. let them know that, you know, we, we expect you to, to support and, and be a part of our programs and, and, and be excited about them, but handle it and act appropriately, um, right. you know, respectfully. Uh, we, you know, we're, we've dealt with some negative stuff in the past. We're trying to move forward and move on and, and get out of that negative light. And, and a lot of it's come to the forefront in, in social media, which everybody's seen and on the news. Yeah, no doubt about it. I tell you one thing my uh, coaches did in high school. They had a film night. Like, I think it was on Tuesday night. All the parents were invited. Watch the game with the coach. No players. If you have any questions, anything you can lay it out in front. And, and I think that really helped. You know, again, that communication, like, hey, listen, I mean, look, I'm, I don't know how you guys do it. Like, if a parent came into my office and was like, why isn't little Jimmy playing? I'd be like, tell little Jimmy to play better. Get out of my office. But you, you can't do that today, right? You got to be a little more copacetic, so to speak. Right? I mean, that's part of, the, that's part of it. Yeah. It's an approach, you know, yeah. and a lot of times you, you, when you step into a role, the person before you had a different approach or a different way of handling or different way of dealing, different connections, different relationships. Yeah. And and for me, I've been in this district for, this is my 20th year in this district, mm. 18 teaching, second as an administrator. And, and I've made relationships with parents, with aunts, with uncles, with, with uh, family members, with coaches, with everybody. So I'm lucky to know that I have those relationships that I can lean on and utilize for support. But, you know, we live in a very diverse community here in Englewood and, yep. you know, we need to connect to everybody. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, one, one person is going to handle things more differently than the other, than the next. So, you know, making sure that we're on the same page and that everybody's treated equally with equity, um, you know, is, is what we're striving for. Yeah, Matt, what, what are the, uh, what do the resources look like today? Is there is the state sports organization assisting you with mentorship skills or training or what, what does that look like? What does that support structure look like? So as an athletic director in my first year, um, I do have a mentor from my division that I work with. Um, he's a, a, a great resource of value. He's on uh, the main committees for Big North Conference in our state, which is one of the larger conferences we have. Um, you know, they, they connect us with them for a year or two to ensure that we get our footing and that if we have questions, we can really always have someone to, to you know, guide us and, and connect with. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you, the, all the ADs within our division are very tight. They've been around each other for a while. So, you know, they're always offering support. And honestly, athletic directors, it's like an actual world of people that we're the only ones who support each other. We know <laughs> yeah. what it means to be an athletic director. So sure. I can reach out to anybody in this state that's an athletic director and they say, I completely understand. Let's help you out however we can. Nice fraternity to have for sure. Yeah. Right, like-minded people. Sure. The, 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 yeah, great resource, no doubt, Nick. Nick, you got a good, uh, a really good athletic director at UNF, somewhat new. Uh, Nick Morrow, correct? Is that the uh, the athletic director at UNF? Yep. can feel the support from athletics and from the rest of the school yeah. um, from his leadership. So well, it's it's definitely awesome. Athletic, and we'll wrap up with this. Athletic directors, well, you're like CEOs, right? You're, you got to balance budgets. You got to manage personalities, the coaches, the players. I mean, all the way through the administrators. I mean, you're part therapist and part accountant. I mean, <laughs> and that's just two of the roles, right? You got a lot to lot to do as an athletic director. Matt, let's wrap up with this. What's the most fulfilling aspect of your job? What makes you keep that purpose, you know, feel fulfilled and keep delivering for all your people? I think really it's just uh, getting students involved. You know, we have a lot of students that shy away because they're scared or nervous or small 
small or or just you know new and being with a choice school here we have kids from out of town um mixing with the kids from Englewood. so you know they're different towns coming together different uh, uh ethnicities and and just getting them involved and, and being a part of a program a part of a team part of a family you know that's what yep. we strive for here at, at dwight Moore high school uh is getting everybody on the same page to really you know appreciate um you know the people around them and, and the program they're a part of and carry with them as they leave here I uh, interviewed Dick Vermeil once at the Super Bowl, the uh, Hall of Fame coach. He told me the number one thing a coach has to have is let them know you care and they'll do anything for you. Let them know that you really care about them, whether it's your coaches, Matt, players underneath them. If they know somebody really genuinely cares about them, they'll do pretty much anything you ask them to do. I appreciate that, and, and it's honest and true. And no I, I try to live by that as much as possible, so thank you. All right, Matt, good luck to your teams this Thanks, year, sir. man. All the best. Thanks for joining us here Thanks, on Matt. the Horse's Mouth. Appreciate it. Nick O'Brien, thank you, my man. Appreciate you bringing Matt to the table and, and uh, helping us kickstart this thing. And we got my man here, Stephen Dean. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right, beautiful. That'll do it for us right here on the horse's mouth. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Hey, Tom McManus here with Carpet Man Flooring. Wow, warehouses the size of football fields filled with rolls of carpet and LVP. That's luxury vinyl planking. LVP. Carpet Man's LVP. Carpet Man. Carpet Man's LVP. The luxury beneath your feet. Our prices, they can't be beat. LVP. Carpet, Carpet Man's, Man's LVP. LVP. Carpet Man Flooring, your hometown flooring store.